Many people have asked me recently of what they could do to support their eyes. Uh, they, maybe it'd be a lot of strain from working on the computer a lot, uh, just maybe some uh, muscles uh, that are weak in the eyes that maybe weren't as strong as they were before. Uh, could also be for um, uh, glaucoma. So if you have issues with your eyes, here are some suggestions to help you. And the nice thing is that also, by working with these points, you're also supporting your liver, which is the organ in Chinese medicine that supports the eyes and eyesight. So there are four main points around the eyes that we're going to work with here. The first one is on the inner canthus of the eyes, right there in the tear duct. And that is the very first point on the bladder meridian, which actually is helping to open up the back of the body as well. So I'm going to invite you to place your index finger or middle finger, whichever works best for you. Place it right on that point and make little circle rotations with that. We're going to do nine of these. Nice and slow, nine in one direction. If you need to do more, you can always do 18 or 36, particularly based on your situation. After you've done nine, we're going to do nine in the other direction. So we're always rotating in both directions here. And as you work on these points, focus on the area that you're working with to help support them. The advantage of this point here is it's also considered a beauty point because it brings more blood and chi and energy into the into the eyes and it helps, actually helps to tighten the skin a little bit. So I'm going to invite you, the second point is on the eyebrow, right directly above where the pupil would be if you're looking straight ahead. So right above. And you're going to feel a little indentation there, like there's a little hole there. And that is a liver point. It's called Yu Yao. It's an extra point on the liver meridian. And I'm going to invite you to place your finger there and make nine rotations in one direction. Great. Nice and slow and then go the other way. You can even go slower than I'm going in this demonstration. Because you really want to focus on activating these points. The third point is on the outside of the eye here, right? That we call the outer canthus. And you're, this is a gallbladder point which actually is opening up the side of the body. The eyes are quite important in all the energetic channels of the body. So placing your finger there and making nine rotations. I'm going to close my eyes because it's a little bit easier to do this point with eyes closed. Making nine rotations and then going nine in the other direction. Good. Last point is directly below the one that was on the eyebrow. So directly beneath the pupil of the eyes if you're looking straight ahead. You're going to feel right there in the eye socket, you're going to feel a little indentation, almost like a little tooth, jagged ed edge of the eye socket there. That's the point. Stomach one, opening the front of the body. Making nine rotations. And this point, you want to be careful because it is opening the stomach. So if you have stomach issues too, it could also create a little bit of um, feeling of nausea. So you want to be gentle with yourself here. And going nine in the other direction. Great. So those are the four main points. Bladder one, inside of the eye. Yu Yao, liver point, above the eye. Gallbladder one on the outside of the eye and stomach one beneath the eye. So you could work with those four points and there's a few other suggestions I like to offer that if you'd like to, you can play with. You can rub your hands together and create some heat. You're gonna get some nice warmth by rubbing them together back and forth. Get them nice and hot. You're gonna take the heat from the palm and you're gonna lay it over your eyes. We're gonna do both of them here at the same time but I'm just gonna demonstrate with one. So placing here over the eye and then you're going to make circles going around and around, looking in all directions. Looking above, over to the left, down beneath, and over to the right. Around and around, making circles with the eyes to strengthen the muscles and bring more blood and chi into the eye. After you've done a few circles in one direction, nine's a great number, then reverse it and go the other way. If you'd like to take it a little bit further, you can always keep your hands warm after that and make figure eights. That's a really good way to work with all directions 
to really help strengthen the muscles and support chi flow into the eyes. I hope these suggestions help. Feel free to try them. Feel free to do them at least uh, once, possibly twice a day, depending upon your conditions and the situation you're working with. And if you have any other suggestions of what you'd like for videos or have comments about this video, feel free to leave them below. I hope you're having a great day. Take care.